Hey everyone, welcome to week 17 of 20 for 20. I have been a parent for a lot of years. Tim and I have been married for more than 20 years and we, for 18 years of those, we have had kids. And so kids have had a huge impact on our marriage. We have seven kids ranging from ages 18 all the way down to two, but we've also had the privilege of co-parenting my brother. Since he was seven, my mom and him have lived in our home. So yes, that's eight kids in our home that Tim and I are responsible for raising. And it's an exciting, exciting thing to do together. We love being parents, but since this is a marriage series, it's important and it would be, a, it would be, I'd be not doing you a justice if I didn't address the impact our kids have in our lives, right? From the vacations we go on to the date, number of dates we get to go on, there's so many things. The conflict it creates in the house, the way we co-parent, it all goes into our, basically our marriage satisfaction level. And so in this marriage series, I think it's important we address it. And kids are a gift, right? Well, there's this scripture right now that's just been sitting with me. I don't know if it's because where Tim and I are in life, we know that we're not having any more babies. So when we're with our, our littles, we see that they're becoming young adults and it's exciting, but it also makes us wanna just hold them close. And, and we really realize the impact that our kids are gonna make on this world. And so this, um, in Psalms 127, three through five, it says this, don't you see that children are God's best gift, the fruit of the womb, his generous legacy. Like warriors, fistful of arrows, are the children of a vigorous youth. Oh, how blessed you are as parents, not for sure, with your quivers full of children. Your enemies don't stand a chance against you. You'll sweep them right off the doorstep. As a mom, I can't think of a more rewarding and more crucial job on this earth than being the mama bear of all my kids. It is an incredible thing, right? I'm tasked with, with really equipping and loving them and sending them out. Well, I I'm also keenly aware though of the role that my husband plays in their life. It's unparalleled. My kids need their dad and they need his individual strengths that he brings to the table and not everything just to be because I think it should go that way. Tim and I are a team and we have to parent as a team. You know, sometimes I wanna hover, I wanna protect, and I wanna make sure that he doesn't hurt their feelings or he says and does this right. And that sometimes, create some unnecessary conflict. Um, one thing with parenting is there's not a one size fits all, right? There's, I don't have to part in the way, partner or parent the way that my sister does. And I don't have to par parent the way that my aunt does. We all are raising unique families with different dynamics, right? Whether we're a blended family or raising the kids that we had from the beginning or whatever your family looks like it's different and unique. And you and your partner, your pa your spouse have to decide the way you're gonna parent. But I think there's some primary um, principles that we could apply that really gird our marriages and they really protect and strengthen our marriages as we're, we're parenting. It takes up a bulk of our life, right? So this one, the, here's some, some core principles I think we can land on. First one is remember you're a team. You are a team. Um, you're f facing unique challenges and the way that you two partner together or don't partner matters. Each team member, each person on the team matters. Without the entire team, you can't achieve the goal. So this, and, and with a divided team, that's a big deal too, right? On Mark, in Mark 3, 23, it says this, so he called them to himself, himself and spoke to them in parables. How can Satan drive out Satan if a kingdom is divided, split into factions and rebelling against itself? That kingdom cannot stand. And if a house is divided against itself, that house cannot stand either. Being divided in our parenting sends a very clear message and it creates turmoil. If a parent is cool with a behavior, permissive, but just as long as you don't do it and dad's here, that kind of behavior, it creates turmoil. It creates division that what the Bible speaks of is it will ruin, it'll ruin the foundations of your home. Your home will crumble under that kind of division. Your home may stand, but eventually, if you don't come together as a team, it will crumble. Kids are smart and they know how to work the system per se. So remind yourselves, remind yourselves daily, you guys are a team. 
team approach forward, right? You need what the other person has. The next thing is correct in private and praise in public. Um, I do not know many, how many times I have made the really poor decision of correcting Tim in front of our kids. It usurps his authority. It makes him feel dumb. It, it actually pisses him off. Um, and it, it, it doesn't present a good united front. And so correct and private and praise in public. There are going to be times that your spouse says and does things that are just get right under your skin. But hold yourself back, bite your tongue, and wait until you're in private and say, hey babe, you were so, so grumpy with her. And I don't, I don't know if you handled that right. Have the conversation about it in private. Let that your spouse, you know, communicate their heart and communicate why they did or didn't say something. Um, Proverbs 27, six says this, the wounds from a lover are worth it. Kisses from an enemy do you in. Kids are smart. They smell division the and they'll exploit it. And they have zero foresight to know the damage that it causes to your marriage. So guard each other and protect each other and really hold the other person's um, parenting in high regard, even if they're not always perfect. You are sending a loud message to your kids by the way you do or don't support your spouse. You're sending a loud message to your kids and you're also sending a loud, loud message to everybody else that, who sees you two to parent together. So choose really to correct in private and praise like crazy in public. The next thing, choose your words wisely. So men struggle with their eyes, women struggle with our mouth. Sometimes we just have to button it. We cannot say it even though we're thinking it. It just... So if I express my heart to Tim and say, you know what, I'm just struggling with the way that Caleb's behaving lately or the way that Ellie's sassing me, and Tim later on at the table addresses it, I can't just, you know, say, why did you do that? Why, you know, allow your spouse to partner with you. And allowing him or her to partner with you means they're going to have to say things and come alongside of you. And, and really walk out this parenting thing together. I really love this quote. Meaningful silence is far better than meaningless words. Allow your spouse to speak into the lives of your children without your correcting or guiding them. Number four, and this one's so important. Enjoy the heck out of your kids. Your kids are going to be your kids until the day you die. So enjoy them, praise each other, praise your kids. The world does not owe you anything. The world does not owe your kids anything. They don't need to praise your kids. And so you be the one that does it. You be the one that encourages them and celebrates the crap out of each other. When your husband, parents like the boss he is, give a little you know, fist bump or really encourage him or her and say, I appreciate so much the way that you handled that earlier. You made the, I, I love the way you made them feel loved, but also you were, you know, you owned it like a boss. So encourage each other. And lastly, have parenting goals. You know, the cute little toddler you have right now is super adorable, but you are growing a young adult, a, an adult that's gonna go out into this world and you are the one equipping them for that. I'm excited to announce that I'm starting a podcast and it's called All The Things. And one of our first episodes will be on this very topic is having parenting goals. Where are we launching our kids? What is uh, What is our future for them look like? Of course, that's, you know, they're not gonna just walk in on everything you want for them, but you've gotta know where you're headed with them. You blindly can't just set out. And so have parenting goals. You know, our kids are inheritance and they are also our legacy. They're gonna be here long after you and I are gone. Parent in a way that supports your spouse and provides safety and unity within your marriage. Take a step back and say, hey, how can I partner with my spouse and do it better than I did it yesterday. I want my kids to value my spouse. I want my kids to value his opinion. And the way I do that is by supporting and working together as a team.